All right, what's going on all my gamers, all my Wuthering Waves gamers? So today I wanted to talk about why, in my opinion, Wuthering Waves needs to succeed, right? So as we know, Hoyoverse is king right now, whether we all like to admit it, and I know there's a lot of people who really, really do not want to admit that. You know, they're coming off the backs of Genshin Impact, which at the release, you know, is actually a really good game with really good content, you know, it had a okay story. The story wasn't the greatest on release. It definitely got better as the story went on. And then uh, Sum Sumeru happened. Uh, Sumeru was actually pretty good. I liked it. Fontaine was amazing. But it had good content, good combat, and of course, what a lot of people are here for, it had a lot of hot people, right? <laughs> but currently, it seems like, in my opinion, I think Genshin Impact is just really phoning it in right now, and they're not really doing anything, especially since it's been 4.2 since they released any new content and any new actual meaning meaningful story, like an Archon Quest or anything like that. Just for context, it's 4.6 currently, and even that will probably end soon, and I don't even know what's coming on 4.7. I don't think anyone really cares at this point. But, I, I mean, you can count new characters as content. Technically, by definition, they are DLC. You know, I really like Navia. Arlecchino is actually really fun to play. I'm trying to build it right now. Uh, that's going as it's going. I just want to say that there just hasn't been any new memorable content for Genshin. At this point, all you're doing is logging in, doing your dailies, trying to build your characters, and being a fucking mint picker. Like, that's really all you can do, right? Now, Hoyoverse isn't completely doing everything wrong because, of course, you know, <laughs> there's a younger brother of the two that is actually doing very, very well, which is Honkai Star Rail. And they just had their anniversary where they gave, I think, about 30 free wishes, if I'm not mistaken. And that's also coming off the back of their events, you know, the Space Monopoly, which was pretty fun. I honestly enjoyed playing that. It was kind of relaxing for a bit. And... Off of that, you basically got Acheron for free. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Genshin themselves, you know how much they gave us? They gave us like three free wishes. Nikkei has given us almost like a hundred. <laughs> They're just having, and it's not even for the new anniversary. It's for the 1.5 anniversary. It's like midway through the second year. They're like, you know what? Here, have a whole new event with new voice lines and everything and crown. Crown's pretty cool. Now, I myself, I still play Genshin. I know <laughs> I know some people have been telling me to quit, especially because I myself now am a gotcha space content creator. There's no content, you know, there's nothing really to cover. There's a new Edo event. I'll probably cover that and I'll play that. But other than that, it's pretty much in a dry spell. I myself feel like that I can tolerate Genshin Impact's uh, super dry spell and shittiness because I played League of Legends for almost, dec uh, almost a decade. And that pretty much has raised my tolerance for really shitty games and really shitty updates. <laughs> now, I myself am just having a good time building my Arla Chino. She's really fun to play. I think she's really cool. In my eyes, at least, this is not as bad as releasing a character like Zoe, leaving her unnerfed for six months and letting her roam free in this game, in League of Legends, or releasing a stupid fucking cat named Yumi. I think that ruins the game, and that's really stupid. So, in my opinion, Genshin could definitely get worse. <laughs> Trust me, it could get a lot worse. <laughs> you guys are not living. You guys are not living through Freaks League of Legends. All right, <laughs> you guys are doing just fine. And this is where Weathering Waves comes in. In my opinion, they need to come in and make a power play in the Gacha space, just like Tower of Fantasy had promised us they were going to do. Except they can't die after a week. <laughs> they need to actually get in there and make this happen. Weathering Waves needs to come in and come in really strong. Pause. Weathering Waves is promising players basically a lot of um, pre-registered rewards, which I think, I don't know where we are at the last time, but I think three, 30 million will be like something, I don't know if it was a free five star or something. I don't really know, but I know that the pre-register events are going to be pretty sick and already even without this game being released they already have promises of better end game than the spiral abyss because the spiral abyss 
I can only do it so many times at this point. I just do it for the free primos. I can clear it in my sleep. It doesn't even matter. In my opinion, I think Weathering Waves is in a good position where they can, at the very least, make Hoyoverse and Genshin wake up and try to do something new, try to shake it up. Because they're already doing it with Zenla Zone Zero and this contract. So we know that they are putting Weathering Waves on notice. And they're going to try to stifle it in any way. Which it doesn't work because who would actually sign that contract? I mean, I know I said in my last video for the contract that who would sign that video, that kind of contract. And, you know, people who are very impressionable. You'd be surprised what kind of contracts people sign when you're young and just need money. So, you know, I'm not going to blame them for that. But you could already tell that Hoyoverse is kind of sweating a little bit when it comes to Weathering Waves and all the promises it has and all the hype that's coming up, coming up around it. And I think that that hype is very well deserved. Now, it just needs to be executed in a way that makes Genshin try to actually fix their game and try to come out with actual content, right? I think competition is really good for both games, both Kuro games and Hoyovers, because if you have a game that hasn't been challenged and could just stagnate and everyone will still play it, all the mint pickers will say it's fine and all the people just sucking Hoyovers' cock is going to say that Genshin is still in a fine place. It's just like if there isn't... It's just like if League of Legends has never been checked... And now you're living in, again, Freaks' League of Legends. <laughs> There's no new MOBA coming out, so they could just kind of do what they want. Because where are you going to go? Dota? I don't think you're going to go to Dota. <laughs> in my opinion, I don't think Wuthering Waves will be a Genshin killer. I think only Genshin could really kill Genshin at this point because of how big it is. But it just needs to be a game that comes out with good content and good quality, which from what I could see through the trailers, it seems like it's a very well-made game. And now it just needs to have a really good story. The, the what do you call it? The trailers have been pretty compelling. I really like those uh, small trailers and all that. I think those are pretty cool. But now we just got to play the story. I haven't been in the beta and I haven't looked up any of the games. So I don't really know anything about it. I just know there's a tomboy that I really like. <laughs> I'm really big into tomboy, so I want her. But we could just hope the, the best for Weathering Waves. Because if not, then we're just going to have to sit and hope. Genshin maybe wises up. I mean, I'll be playing Genshin, but at the same time, I'm going to be uh, wishing for Firefly and her dragon install. That shit's going to be sick. Or Jade, who I want her to step on me. I, I will be her yellow brick road, bro. Let her step on me. I don't give a fuck. And then whip me. She has a, like a whip in her role. I, if you guys have seen the leaks, it's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm I'm all about it. Anyways. Tell me if you guys are excited for Wuthering Waves. Tell me how you feel like it's going to perform. Do you have a character that you really like? I need to figure out all the other characters. You know, I'll be covering Wuthering Waves. You know me. I'm always reacting to that stuff. I might make some other videos on it. This is just something that I wanted to talk about because Wuthering Waves is coming out May 22nd, chat. I'll see you there. I'm going to be there. I'm already pre-registered. Anyways, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you gamers in the next one. Bye.